Uh, Valery Temnikov will tell us about the future of this uh, of this scheme using UBP and uh, what is the development of uh, telephone systems. Um, distinguished colleagues, let me go on the, with the idea of Vartan. There is no problems with the implementation of uh, MNP. We have a big expertise in this area, both in uh, the telephone networks and in the internet networks. So my story is about using DNS for solving problems of MNP and some other issues of traditional telephone systems. There is a convergence or merging of the uh, telephone uh, technologies and telephone industry with uh, package technologies, 3G, um, 4G technologies with all the attributes of the Internet network are uh, widespread and are widely implemented. Therefore, our solution, MNP solution, follows this trend, and uh, it is more. It makes it more attractive, and it can help the operators to solve their problems and to lay the foundation for de future development. First of all. Let me tell you some basic things. What is the uh, core of the MNS? That is the telephone number in E164 format. You can see here description at this slide. So it is a combination of codes A, B, C, D, E, F and decimals, which shows the uh, end element of the telephone network. Now it is either a mobile phone or a smartphone or a tablet PC. Everybody has such devices. Then next thing it is a routing number. It is created by the operators together with us. It is their format. It is a both letter and digit symbol, so that this uh, uh, telephone cannot be dialed from the usual telephone. So there is uh, the code of the operator and technological number, which defines the. Uh, uh, the device in the operator network. Oops, it is a wrong presentation, probably. But could, could you speak about this? Yes, fine. The information message consists of two fields. That is the telephone number and routing number. We didn't need to invent anything uh, in a DNS, so you can see the format, the phone number in enum format, and there is the Napter, Napter uh, replacement Napter with the information about routing number. So. This chart of portable numbers can be implemented and can be distributed via the, th via the tree of communication. This technology is known as ENAM, E106, for number, met uh, number mapping, a chain of protocols to make the uh, reflection of uh, of the telephone numbers at DNF system. 
with this system, uh, you can get information uh, about everything, including the routing number. What in Enum uh, give? What does Enum give us? If we introduce M and P, we can make M and P in DNS, and we can develop this system, adding services. For example, CIB, postal address, or personal address of the website. Which uh, the Enum specification has. What models of Enum can be chosen? There are three approaches. There is private Enum, infrastructure Enum, or operators Enum, and public Enum. So I tried to show you the street light. Now we are in Russia. And Russia is in this situation where we can implement private enum only, because the uh, the seven is not delegated in the zone of E one six four arb, and therefore this enum, which can implement private targets within the country and within. The, uh, the small group of operators, the cooperation with uh, trans-border operators, I mean foreign operators, will be quite limited because private ENAM uh, does not give an opportunity for distributing the information in the international tree. If we can delegate seven, we can uh, implement infrastructural infrastructure in them, which can be supported by the foreign operators. How can it help us uh, in M and P? Due to the cooperation with the operators, we had problems with the delivery of calls. Uh, when uh, they have been moved from one operator to another, because the routing system, international routing system, will send the call to the operator who is the owner of the number according to the uh, numbering plan. And uh, there is no other way to make uh, international networks to send the call in the right direction. So in our model, we have such unworth routing that the call coming to the operator who is owner of the number is being routed according to the inner mechanism, inner tools, to the uh, network of the receiving operator. The moving of information and the implementation of ENAM with full-scale delega delegation can give us an opportunity to implement this for the international operators and foreign operators to make the route shorter. And we believe that this way is easier and it is more direct. It is under development now and probably we will solve it. And as the uh, final victory is the implementation of public enum when uh, with the DNS and internet technologies, it will be possible to implement the fixation of identificator to to a man because when we call we need a person a subscriber 
and not his location. So pub implementation of public enum gives us an opportunity to use the tools provided either by an operator or by anybody else or by a website to manage the services and addressing of the network uh, of the network um, uh, as it is it happens with a personal account which can be moved from one internet provider to another from one hosting platform to another and nobody who visits this uh, web page cannot see this just to print the address and then goes to the Now, a couple of words uh, on the following. To do it, we need, uh, we need infrastructure, quite potent infrastructure and existing one. And uh, at the moment, we have such infrastructure in Russia. It is a DNS network, which we, uh, which actually covers whole Russia. It works quite actively. It covers the whole uh, world. It's uh, it's a uh, uh, written DNS network. You have you can see it on the website. Uh, those potent uh, DNS nodes are uh, quite complicated. Uh, they connected to uh, traffic exchange points. Uh, they have redundancy all the things to minimize access time, to minimize uh, uh, routes to networks. So each uh, each subscriber can have. Uh, uh, high-speed access to the information spread through the network. Ripon DNS uh, uh, network is made in cooperation with uh, MS, MSKIX. It is the largest Russian traffic exchange point in Russia. It's quite a, to build such uh, infrastructure is quite a long uh, process. This technical system was started to build it by Ross Ross since 1997, which was actually the uh, uh, one of the first developers of the internet in Russia, and uh, TC, uh, TC is actually, uh, uh, let's say, followed Rosneros. So actually, we uh, accumulated the, the 20 years experience and efforts of uh, lots of people. So it's not that easy to recreate it uh, from scratch. So this slide shows main technical parameters, which are quite, quite high, quite and quite potent and quite fast. And what another uh, interesting application we can implement using DNS technology, uh, and uh, which is quite good for mobile operators. We're talking about the GPRS roaming exchange service. This service is actually required for mobile uh, device roaming uh, to provide uh, Internet access for us it's quite uh, important. National roaming it's a big issue, and by traveling uh, along Russia or even abroad, they might they might have some skyrocketing uh, skyrocketing uh, bills. Uh, so DNS and Internet Exchange uh, using Jerex uh, with the help of Jerex technology uh, in enables or can. Uh, enable mobile operator to considerably d diminish uh, their costs, not lowering price for final uh, subscribers. And we hope that the end users will be able to pay less. And ideally, uh, we will be able not to pay, uh, we'll be able to avoid additional um, costs, at least traveling around Russia. I think operators, uh, mobile operators, think will be against it. Well, operators I say we have lots of. Uh, uh, they, we have lots of costs. Our costs are very high. Well, we will help them with that. Internet will, used to be very expensive, but now many people have access to that uh, these days. So it's hard. It's hard to. Uh, it's hard to, so to say. Um, uh, it's hard to argue on that. Uh, so, but it used to be quite expensive. So now I'd like to finish my presentation. So here's a slide. So this slide shows the advantages. So we think the use of internet technologies for NMP is the right way to go. It will push for the development of communication systems, and will uh, be the first step to prepare uh, of preparation for technology convergence. Uh, we should use phone number for. 
to address services in the network, and it will be new services for subscribers. And uh, which one? Well, I think that we can think it over. Uh, thanks. Thank you. It's a great, great description of, uh, uh, so to say, far away future and science fiction.